The taxi business is out in GTA Online, and today I'm going to test how much money you can actually make with it. I don't know about you, but ever since it came out, I thought, you know, this is a pretty cool idea, but is it actually worth it? So this is going to be a quick, short guide explaining how much money you can actually make. If you enjoy this video, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this, and let's go. First things first, how do we actually start making money with the taxi? Well, you have to go over to the downtown Cabco Depot, which is right here, just below the Diamond Casino. Walk up to the door and start working. It's going to put you in a taxi, and then it's going to give you some customers to go and collect. From there, the process is extremely straightforward and simple. Go pick up the customer, it'll then tell you where to take them, so you deliver them there, and then it will do it all over again. Now, you don't have to use the taxi that the game gives you, there's two other taxis you can use. You can either buy your own through Warstock, or if you've reached sponsorship level 25 in the Arena War, you'll have access to the Taxi Custom, which is a bit faster, more durable, all the stuff you would expect from a custom vehicle. Honestly, it's not really that worth grinding out Arena War just for this though, so if you don't have it, don't worry. Okay, so how much money can we actually make by delivering passengers? Well, every trip you're gonna get paid in two separate ways. The first is the fare itself. This is always gonna be in the low $100 range. Where you're gonna make the most money though is through the tips. Starting off, this will be somewhere around a $1,000 tip initially. I know it says $2,000 on my screen, that's because it's double money for me this week. Normally, that will be $1,000. However, each consecutive trip you complete, up to 10 trips, will increase the tip every single time. So, for example, once you complete 10 trips in a row, that tip will almost be $2,000. It'll be just under $2,000. Once you reach 10 trips in a row, that's it. You can't earn any more money per trip. So once you reach 10 trips in a row, you're going to get paid roughly the same amount for every ride from there on out. So how long does a trip take? Well, overall, the average came out to about two and a half minutes per trip. And that was over a big sample size. You do have to be vigilant though, because that tip that you're going to get is actually going to decrease in a few different ways. The first is if you crash into things, that tip is going to decrease immediately. The second is going to be time-based. So essentially, as soon as the passenger gets in your cab, they're going to be tracking the time. And the longer you take, the more their tip is going to decrease. So you want to be as fast as you possibly can without crashing into things. So let's say we've done our 10 fares. We've now reached the maximum tip that customers are going to give us. If we keep doing taxi work from this point on, how much money are we going to make per hour? Well, like I said, trips on average took me about two and a half minutes. Once I completed my 10 fares, from that point on, I earned on average about $1,875 per trip. So if we're doing our rounding here, that's going to get you somewhere around $45,000 an hour. Now, of course, no, that's not anything groundbreaking. It's actually pretty bad, if I'm honest. There are a few things we do need to consider, though. There is no upfront cost here. This is completely free to use. And it's not the worst way in the world to make money for new players. It's still not amazing, but it's not the worst. For experienced players, though, yeah, this is, this is pretty bad. For context, the hangar that has been tripled in pay recently will pay you about $180,000 an hour. So this will pay you out about one quarter of that. So yeah, not, not great. There's also a couple of liveries you can unlock for vehicles as well related to the taxi work. For the classic Broadway, you can unlock the taxi livery for this vehicle for completing 50 taxi fares. And there's also one for the Willard Eudora that you can unlock by completing 10 stunt jumps while doing taxi work. So I just thought I'd let you guys know about them as well. So overall, that's the taxi business. Quick breakdown. Not amazing for making money, but honestly a pretty decent way for new players who don't have any businesses. But we'll wrap the video up there. If you enjoyed, a thumbs up would be awesome. Sub for more stuff like this. Hope you're staying safe, and I will see you in the next video. Poise.